before starting this video i just want to let you guys know that this video is more on the curiosity side rather than your than the typical explanatory 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 side um this video is not about the about the next topic like in the, in the previous video i talked about uh, supplementary units the this video if you are subscribed to my channel you will be thinking that this video is about the derived unit after which is after the supplementary unit but this is just the extension you can say extension the curiosity extension of the supplementary unit so the recent the previous video was about the supplementary unit on radian what is radian and what is the radian and after completing this video i just want uh, i just thought about it for a second that we have radian stir radian so which is the the question that i wanted i asked uh, to myself and which is also will be the title of this video that can let me just write it down now can there be third purely geometrical unit so this is the question that that i was curious about that can there be third purely geometrical unit so purely geometrical unit you are all know in the previous video if you haven't checked that watch that video about radian stair radian i highly encourage you to first watch that to know what is radian and star radian and if you already know what is radian star radian you can watch this you can keep you can keep watching this video and if you have, don't don't know about radian star radian then please check my pre previous video first so it, uh, i wrote it i wrote it here purely geometrical unit so there are only two two purely geometrical unit that are supplement that up that were the part of supplementary unit where when they were removed in um, when they were then when they were removed and became part of the derived units so they are only pure, uh, two pure, uh, purely geometrical units and these are hmm, okay these are radian and the second one is stair radian so there are only two purely geometric geometrical unit and after completing the previous video i thought uh, i said to myself so can there be i was just curious that i was thinking that can there be a third purely geometrical unit can there be a third unit beside radian or stair radian so this was this was the question that i wanted wanted to talk about so if there is a third purely geometrical unit what will be the equation for the third geometrical purely geometrical unit for first we're gonna start off with radian stair radian and then we'll, we will go and by the using that these logic the logic of radian stair radian we will try to make logic of the third purely geometrical unit but before that let um, just okay just let's start with the radian here radian okay mm. let's just erase these and okay we have radian and then here we have stir radian so as you guys know that radian radian is the unit is the unit for 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 a circle here so radian what is what is radian here um first of all let me just draw a circle okay so what is radian so radian radian is 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 given as radian R A D. Let's just say radian equal to S by R, where S is the arc length. So, uh, radius uh, radian is actually is actually the arc length of a circle that is that is equal equal to the radius radius of that circle. So here, 
uh, let's say this is the center and we have and we have some distance from uh, fr uh, from uh, and we have d distance here which will be the radius of it and it says that that if you if and if you take that the distance of uh, the radius the, the the length of the radius and you just kind of bend it with the uh, with the uh, with the circumference of the circle and this this line that we have bent will it should be equal to r and that portion this portion will be known as radian this will be known as radian so and um, and then we will, we will now go go to the uh, stir radian and and the circle and the other thing is that circle is basically 2d two dimensional let's go to then stir radian here so let's just say this is stir radian i'm just trying to make it 3d as possible but it doesn't look 3d but imagine this is a 3d ball here sphere um let's just here just write it down 3d 3d is three dimension and 2d you have x axis y axis x y and then in 3d you have x y z axis x y z axis and and in in star radian we have sr rate a symbol sr equal to a by r squared where a is the area area of surface of sphere so in in star radian we take the area of the surface of the sphere and we make it equal to the uh, to the radius square and square of it so let's say the circle uh, the the center of the of a sphere and we and we have we have length r here which is the radian uh, radius and if you take that measure of the radius and we we create a section of it a circular area of it and that circular area of it will be equal to the r squared of it and this will create a cone which coincides with the center which coincides with the center of the sphere and it just make a cone like cone like shape and this is the stair radian of a uh, which it, and it is the stair radian of a circle so I hope you are getting the point point here that uh, radian is the is the unit is the ge purely geometrical unit of a circle which is 2d two dimensional stay radian is the purely geometrical unit for sphere for measuring uh, for uh, for a sphere a unit for sphere which is three dimensional and now we are going to to the outer um, outer bound boundary here so here what will be the third one if we, we are trying to imagine that if we are trying to imagine a third one what will it be so let's try to imagine it so i said so radian is for circle let's say um let's try it out write it down which is for circle so radian is for sphere and here what will be it it will be it will be for hypersphere hypersphere is basically a fourth dimensional hypersphere if this is 3d and four dimensional sphere you can also say four dimensional circle because a circle in 3d sphere and and if you if you are saying 4d a 4d circle that is also correct if you are saying about it for this sphere which is also correct so let's say that that four dimensional circle or sphere is hypersphere oh not let's say it is called hypersphere now what will be its purely geometrical unit well i've just done some some searching on the internet but i haven't i think i haven't found any unit for it so let's say its unit is given as hyper radian hyper radian let's say theoretically hypothetically speaking its unit will be the unit for hypersphere will be hyper radian so now we just can't imagine it a circle or a sphere in 4d i think the closest we can get is a tesseract 
uh, you can uh, you can go on the on the internet and check that out uh, a tesseract is basically four dimensional cube but not a circle for them not a sphere it's a, it's a cube cube like and it's just really weird because as you all know we live in three dimensional world we can't just imagine a 4d and 4d is basically known known as um, four dimension is the fourth dimension is is known as time as you know in from general theory of relativity space and time so how can we imagine imagine this purely geometrical unit if we can't even imagine a fourth fourth dimension so the only thing we can do is hypothetically just go through radian steradian and make some patterns of it what are the patterns here and just try to just let it to make a hypothetical equation for it so what will be the equation of the hyper radian so first let me just uh, go here with the radian so radian what is radian radian is equal to s by r s is equal to s is arc length and what does radian says radian says that arc length should be equal to the radius of the circle right and then we have star radian star radian say is equal to area of the surface of a sphere divided by r square and the area of the surface of the square will be equal to r squared of it so now here we we can hmm, let's just uh, which color should i choose hmm. Hmm. let's just choose the green now here in radian we have r we have star radian here we have r squared and then we have we can see this pattern here that radian is r sr will be r, r squared and then the hyper radian would be r cube r cube uh, the r cube of it and and here we can say we can see that it's saying arc length so this is just an arc, arc length and if we straighten that arc length it becomes a straight line <coughs> If we straighten the arc length which is kind of bent in 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 order to to be just like this uh, just like on the circle here if we straighten it out it becomes a straight line what is a straight line is one dimensional now going with the area of the surface of the sphere it says area area is actually height uh, is actually height multiplied by uh, length multi multiplied by height or uh, multiply by multiply by height so area is two dimensional so area is equal to is equal is the two dimensional version of it one dimensional is straight line and area is is two two dimensional so one this is a physical quantity here this is the one dimensional physical quantity which is basically a straight line and area is two dimensional physical quantity which is basic basically a uh, two axes two axes here now we can if if you if now if you have figured out the pattern so let's make a hypothesis here so a hypothesis will be hmm okay we'll use orange one only here so what is radian then radian is using 1d quantity quantity which is the arc length to measure two D which is a circle and now we have steradian 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 is using two dimensional quantity to measure three dimensional which is sphere 
what do i mean by one dimension quantity to measure two two d so here we are using here you can say uh, you you can already see that in that below is we have r and then we have here r squared so radian is actually using one dimensional physical quantity one dimensional quantity in order to measure a 2d here as you all know that circle that the arc length is equal that the arc length is equal you know, that the arc length here is as uh, if we straighten it out it becomes a uh, a uh, one time it's, it's it's basically a straight line and this and we are using one dimension one dimension in order to calculate the in order to measure the 2d circle here and steradian is using 2d which is the area of the surface of the sphere actually we are using 1d to measure 2d and here also when we say when we talk about the area of this if we are saying that we are trying to measure the whole 3d the surface of this sphere in 2d measuring its area here so if you are getting this if i hope you are getting this then the hypoth then the hypothesis for the then the logic of the hyperradian will be hyperradian is using 3d quantity to measure 4d four dimensional which is hyper hypersphere hypersphere so what will be the equation for it so the equation will be um let's just i don't know i just don't know how uh okay just we're gonna know uh, we're gonna give it a symbol as hpr hyperradian so hyperradian will be equal to here we have s one dimension which is straight line and we have and we are we in and when we are trying to measure the higher dimension it becomes area and if we add another dimension that area will become volume v by and here we can see here radian will be r star radian became r squared and here will be r cube so the the, uh, the theoretical hypothetical uh, equation for hyper radian will be volume divided by r cube and that volume will be equal to the radian cube of it so here um now as we talked about in the previous video that how many radians will it take to complete a circle here so for radian here we have 2 pi r divided by r and r is cancelled by it and we have 2 pi radians so 2 pi radians will be enough to make to make our to complete our circle here now the same goes for sr here so for sr here so for sr here we have 4 pi r squared divided by squared and r squared is cancelled and we have 4 pi so 4 pi steradian will be will be equal to it will be equal to this sphere here so what will be the hyperradian what will be the volume of it so actually here you, you all might be thinking well volume is volume is 4 by 3 pi r cubed right volume is equal volume is 4 by 3 pi r squared and r squared will be cancelled out and we will have 4 by 3 pi so 4 by 3 pi hyperradians uh, hyperradian will be equal to the hypersphere and this is basically is a, which is basically incorrect which is completely wrong why because as i mentioned earlier that 1d is trying to measure 2d 2d is trying to measure 3d so here volume is trying to measure the hypersphere now when we talk about 4 by 3 pi r cube this is basically the volume of a sphere here we are trying to trying to measure the volume of a hyper hyper hypersphere so 
so it turns out that the volume v is equal to 2 pi square r cube divided by r cube and they are cancelled out and we have 2 pi squared so 2 pi squared hyper radian will be equal will will it will it will be will will it take to make a hypersphere so 2 pi squared hyper radian equal to hypersphere that's how many hyper radian will it take to make a hypersphere of it and the and uh, the final one only that this is basically fully hypothetical i can i can be plainly wrong about it i can be completely wrong about the, about it about it, this all all hypothesis so but according to this logic this make complete complete sense uh, radian equal to s by r so radian equal to area by r squared and hyper radian equal to volume divided divided by r cube and let's say if we want to go even further further beyond this four dimensional because in string theory they say that they had they have 11 dimensions so what will be it is what will be a general equation of it if this is hypothetically correct then so the general equation for it in it for it will be that let's say we do i write here Hmm. okay then i'm just gonna write it down so for general equation the general equation for it general equation so what will be the general equation so for the general equation for n dimensional n dimensional purely geometrical unit will be equal will be equal to n minus 1 dimensional quantity divided by r which whose power will be n minus 1 so this will be the general equation equation for purely geometrical unit for more than for more than four dimensions the general the general of it so n for n which is basically any dimension dimension a purely dimension a purely geometrical unit is equal to n minus one so here you can see for for radian which is two dimension we are here taking arc length which is one dimensional 3d here same case area which is two dimension hyperradian which is volume volume trying to make a four dimensional so here is also the case here n minus one divided by a radius which is n minus one here you can also see for circle 2d here it is r for 3d it is r squared and for 4d it will be r cube so the power will be r n minus one so if this is hypothetically correct then this is the general equation for n-dimensional purely geometrical unit other than radian star radian if you are if you are trying to go into the higher dimension n dimension purely geometrical unit equal to n minus one dimensional quantity which is length and then we have area and then we have volume and then more than other dim dimensions higher dimension if we can measure the, those higher dimensional quantities divided by radius divided by radius and whose power will be n minus one and and then again this all could be just plainly wrong as i said on the, in the beginning of this video and this video is mainly mainly i made it for for my own curiosity for i just wanted to to I just wanted to let to just think about it if if we have radian star radian how how will the will be the higher purely geometrical higher dimension of purely geometrical units will look like and as i said before it's more on the curiosity side rather than explaining to 31 but i think it's a good practice to be curious about something and 
have your mind just wonder about it even if it's com complete completely wrong at sight and yeah i guess this is the video of it i uh, just a curious video and i hope you have found this video kind of helpful and if you did then please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and share it with other other people and if you have any questions about my previous video videos or this one also you can also from a comment it down and I'll, I'll try to answer it for you and next video will be about derived units and i'll try to make that video as soon as possible and yeah this is the video and thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you very much